Hello, I'm Moira Fraser and I write the recipes for Heart Martyrs and today I've got Victoria with me and we're going to be showing you how to do some salmon burgers. Yeah. And they use a new grain, quinoa. It's a source of fibre, it's also got um, carbohydrate and protein in it as well, so it's a nutritious grain to use. Well it means that we don't need to use breadcrumbs in the burgers. That's right and that also means that you're not adding extra salt. I'm just going to pop it in a saucepan, Sorry. I've got 25 grams there, Yeah. just cover it with cold water. So we're going to leave that to boil for 20 minutes until it's nice and fluffy. Next we're going to put together all the flavouring ingredients. Mm -hmm. I've got three spring onions here finely chopped up. And I've also got some dill here which is a favourite herb with uh, salmon. I will just put the stalks in too. Yeah, that's good. Don't waste anything. So, that's that chopped very finely. Quinoa is cooked though. You can see it's gone... Oh yeah, it's really puffed up, hasn't it? That's right, and, yeah. and quite transparent. So yeah. I'm just going to drain that and leave it to cool. I'm going to put a teaspoonful of oil into the pan and I'm using just a simple olive oil. Oh, okay. That's like the famous for the Mediterranean it diet, is which is associated with low risk of heart disease. So I'm just going to heat the oil up a little bit and add in our spring onions. Now they just take two or three minutes to soften down. So the onions have softened nicely okay. now. We're going to add in the chopped dill and the zest of a whole lemon yeah and that's just fried for an extra minute or so yeah Put together mm. now don't be frightened to to add lots I'm going to mm. put in a good 10 to 12 twists of the mill here okay yeah yeah black pepper's fine no oh. it's, it's just the salt really to avoid yes. Right, so we're going to leave that to cool now. Okay. And so I've got some salmon fillets here yep. that um, I've taken the skin off. So if you just pop that in there. Okay, just plonk it in. Right, just, oh, now the important thing with this is just to blitz it so it's like rough mince. So it's okay. almost like a sort of burger texture. Yeah. Not to take it too far so it goes no. too, too mushy. Maybe another couple of that. Maybe another. Like that. That's it? Perfect. Yep. So if you take it off. Yeah. You can see it's just coarsely minced out. Stick together. Pop this in our and bowl. salmon's really good because it's an oily fish, so it's a source of omega-3 fatty acids. I'm going to add in the spring onion mixture, the quinoa, uh, and then finally just one small egg yolk, and that just helps bind everything together. Yeah. So it's quite a wet mix, isn't it? That's right. At this point, you might think when you're doing it, oh gosh, I've done something wrong, it's too soft. <laughs> but don't worry, it all comes together. So that's ready for shaping now. It is quite soft, but they are easy to shape. Now, I have tried these with white fish, but it's not as successful as the salmon. So here's our six burgers. Yeah. So I'm just going to cover these in cling film and pop them in the fridge overnight. Mm -hmm. And they do firm up yeah. more. Now we're going to make a healthier alternative to traditional tartar sauce. Ah, excellent. So we're going to start off with uh, a 0% fat yoghurt. Mm -hmm. So into that I'm just going to add in two teaspoonfuls of a reduced fat mayonnaise. Yeah. And an ounce of pickled gherkins yeah. chopped up. And then again, any, any um, herbs that you want, you could use the dill again. Yeah. I'm using chives. Again, we're adding lots of flavour, aren't we, which is... That's um, right. A lot of the traditional sauces I think that you'd have with, with burgers would be quite salty and sugary as well. And then I also add in just a little bit of the pickling vinegar, mm -hmm. just about a, a teaspoonful. And the most important thing from doing this is to leave it in the fridge overnight. Mm -hmm. Actually mixing the, the low fat yoghurt with the mayonnaise is quite a good tip, just generally I think if you're using mayonnaise, so it will give you a, a, a lower fat than even exactly. the reduced fat mayonnaise. I'm just going to cover it with cling film and pop, mm -hmm. pop it in the fridge overnight. Yeah. Here's how I made yesterday. Lovely. And so we're just going to fry up two of them and yep. I'm going to freeze the uh, remainder. Great. I've got a small saucepan here. I'm going to use my olive oil again. Yeah. So, pop the burgers in. Mm -hmm. You can see they've firmed up yep. nicely. And then just leave them to sizzle and brown on the other underside for a minute. Yeah. And that forms a really nice sort of crust to the, to the burger. Nice, yeah. So you try to do that without moving them around too much. Mm. Mm. And as they cook, they'll firm up a bit more, that, won't that's, they? That's, that's right. You see it's nice and golden on the yeah. other side there. So once the underside's 
brown. We'll flip them once more and then just another three minutes and that should be then done. So there's our burgers cooked, you can see nice and golden. Lovely. And you can just tell that they're mm -hmm. cooked through the middle but still quite soft. Yeah. So we'll turn those off now. So we're going to assemble our burgers now. Lovely. Uh, and I've bought some really lovely seeded wholemeal buns. Mm -hmm. So it's another good way of getting a bit of extra fibre in the diet. And they're really delicious, yeah. yeah, nice and soft. So I'm just going to open the buns up and just spread on a little bit of our sauce. Okay. And then we're going to put the hot burgers on top. And then finally a bit of salad, which again could be anything. I've got some lovely baby kale here with some thinly um, sliced shallots through it. Yeah, kale's popular, but yeah, any greens are good for you, really. And there we go. Oh, lovely. Mega salmon burger. Well, thank you, Maura, and I hope we've inspired you to eat more fish and to try this recipe. If you log on to the Heart Matters website, you can find it for yourself.